CBS News election night coverage continues. Here again is Dan Rather. On the half hour mark, it's now just past 7.30 in the east, two big states that now have become absolutely must have for George Bush had their polls closed. That would be North Carolina and Ohio. With the arithmetic now at hand, if George Bush does not carry at least one of those states and probably has to carry both North Carolina and Ohio, it could be sayonara for him. Fact of the matter is the polls have been closed for some time in Florida, Kentucky, and Virginia. No decisions in those states either. We don't have enough information to make what we consider to be a, a very accurate estimate. So if you add Ohio, North Carolina to Florida, Kentucky, and Virginia, you can say that George Bush at an absolute rot gut minimum would have to have four of those five states, probably has to have all five to stay in the hunt. Florida, Kentucky, Virginia, Ohio, North Carolina, we don't have a call on any of those. West Virginia, we have just put in Bill Clinton's column, which gives him 25 electoral votes. Bush has 12. But the real story is the Republicans not being able to win their states so far. Let's go to the map and we want to show you, put the map up again and see how tonight's electoral vote count uh, has changed. Georgia went for Ronald Reagan twice, went for George Bush in 1988, gone, out of here for Bill Clinton. Uh, up in the Northeast, Vermont and New Hampshire, both of uh, which normally go Republican, ditto. West Virginia, as we mentioned with unemployment so high there, was expected to go for Clinton, but important for him, he got it. Ed Bradley on the presidential desk, why is Ohio so tight? Generally, Ohio is a state that shades the Republicans in presidential races. Well, it, it is, and it's, it's close because of the economy. It's a state that's doing uh, better in some areas than, uh, than, than most other states. We took uh, a look at how the uh, voters felt about the economy there, and about a quarter of them said that they were uh, doing better this year than they were four years ago, and President Bush wins those votes. 28% say they're doing worse, and, and Bill Clinton is getting those votes. The battleground will be on the 44% who say, who say that they're doing the same. And that battleground, those people don't fall on either side because Ohio, more than most states, has a huge percentage of... Uh, of independent voters. Almost half of the voters in uh, Ohio are registered as independents so that you don't have a natural constituency there that's going to fall for your party. And I might also add, taking a look at North Carolina, Dan, that Clinton is doing six point better than uh, Dukakis did in 1988. That's the same picture that we saw in Georgia. Thanks, Ed Bradley on the presidential desk. Waiting for results. The polls have closed in North Carolina and Ohio. Don't have decisions there. West Virginia falls for Clinton. Clinton is out to an early lead in the Electoral College vote, but let me pause and say that does not mean, not by a long shot, that the election is over. Polls are still open in many places around the country, as we have before. We want to pause and say, if you haven't voted, please vote. Take somebody with you. It does matter. Wherever you think the race is going to go, don't listen to anybody who says, well, you know, I think it's already been decided or it won't make much difference. Baloney. It matters. Your vote matters. Please go out and vote if you haven't done so already. Dan Rather at CBS News Election Headquarters in New York. This is CBS.